Hi, my name is Priscilla Jaimez, and when I'm not on the board, I am caregiving for my adult son, uh, Max, and helping other people, either babysitting or helping others out with uh, paperwork or filing or whatever I can get my hands on. So my adult son, Max, has autism. He was diagnosed when he was two. And ever since then, that's all that we do here in the house is just look for different services, therapies. And I came across the Autism Society when Max was about five years old. We started doing the autism walks at Oaks Park when he was five as Team Mighty Max. And we have done it every year since and he is now 21. So I said, if I'm already doing what is required of a board member, then why not be a board member? I'm always really impressed with all the services that they offer. I've done the take a break, and one year I did the respite where they, they paid for somebody so that I can go out. And then just the fact that when I got involved with the Autism Society years and years and years ago, it was because um, they helped me or helped my son receive therapy. And that's when I started receiving the emails and saw stuff for the walk and saw all the other things that the Autism Society provides. And I've already started networking with people out here. I'm in Vancouver and a lot of people don't know about the walks or the Autism Society of Oregon. So I hope to be a voice for us out here and not only for Vancouver, but for the Latin community. Um, I, I do every year for the last six years, I wanna say, um, I go on air on Latin radio. My dad's a radio host and on internet radio. And we talk about the autism walk and then we talk about autism in general and, and my struggles with Max. And so that's just another point the stuff I'm already doing that the board does. For the future of the Autism Society of Oregon, I feel that there needs to be more awareness in Southwest Washington and acceptance everywhere. One of my recent struggles with Max as an adult is that they don't look like they have anything and so they are adults and so when you find your child is staring at somebody because of a color they're wearing or uh, what have you. I've, I'm starting to run into people saying, what's your problem or what are you staring at? And it's, it's one of those things. So if we can get a lot more acceptance, awareness, as far as there isn't an actual look to autism, it's, it's an invisible disability. Uh, I feel more awareness on the invisible disability part, maybe share a lot more uh, insight on that aspect and maybe just create more awareness in the Latin community. That's what I'm trying to do and that's what I've been doing for the last couple of years is just going online on air uh, to share. We have to start being more aware that, okay, maybe he's overstimulated or maybe that child's not not doing so good or and these autism walks are so nice because we end up with such a huge group and it's not it's an eye-opener for people who haven't seen what autism is because you get a whole range of that there at the walks you see children in wheelchairs with the headphones with the helmets some that you couldn't even tell have anything wrong with them it, it's a great experience and i just feel like for the future just more acceptance more awareness